Hi, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to send an in-app email. So open up Xcode, create a new project. So we're, I'm going to show you how to send an, an email from your iPhone application on this one. So go single view application. I'm not going to use storyboard this time. I've been using a lot of storyboard lately. So, But it really doesn't matter this time if we use it or not. So, But this time... I'm just going to use the automatic reference counting and the product name I'm going to call it mail send uh, mail send tutorial and devices will be iPhone just click next and create your project and from there um, first thing we need to do to send the mail is you go here and then um, select build faces because we need to because we need to get a library we need to get a, a framework in here so just click on this link binary with libraries and click the plus sign here add item and here just search for mess yeah type message and then what we need is this one in order to send your mail so message message UI framework so click it and add and it shows up here message UI framework I like to add all my frameworks together so I just drag it into here and um, so that's the first part and then in our view controller I'm gonna add a couple of things I'm gonna add a button and I'm gonna call this one the email button so when this button gets clicked the email is gonna pop up um, for you to send I'm also gonna add a text view not a text view, but a text view. A text view. Okay, I'm gonna make it that big. It already comes populated with some text, so just delete it because you don't really need it. And then there. All right. There's my text view and an email button, and that's pretty much all we need in the in the zip file. And Hide this thing, hide the utilities area, pull up our assistant editor, uh, control click drag our text view onto here and I'm gonna call this my text view, type is UI text view, storage is weak and that's an outlet and email button is gonna be an action, control click drag, connection type is an action name is email button type ID event touch up inside argument sender and save our zip save our header file and then I'm gonna open up the view control implementation file oh, actually we need to do a couple more things here so we also need to import a message message UI and message UI dot H and when we import it we need to import it with like this little less than and greater than sign so we're not gonna import it in quotes and we also need a um, we also need a MF mail compose view controller delegate on here and we're gonna use that later in our in our view controller implementation file so in the view did in the view did load um, I think we're not going to do anything in there so in our email button what we're going to have is uh, we're going to create a MF mail controller oops sorry MF mail oh, what is it called MF mail compose let me see, I forgot what it's called. There we go. MF Mail Compose View Controller. And I'm gonna call this Mail Controller. And it's gonna be MF Mail Compose View Controller Alec Init. And then we're gonna do MF Mail MF Mail Compose View Controller. Set mail com let's see MF mail compose view controller. Oops, not this one. Mail controller set MF 
no set mail control compose delegate okay so this one's a little bit than the delegates we've been setting because usually in like the table views or text field we just say set delegate but for for our mails we need to say set mail compose delegate dot okay and then from there we just start doing our stuff so in a string I'm gonna call this email address like who you want to send it to actually I'm just gonna call it email and I'm gonna send it to myself so if he the perfect at gmail.com that's one of the address you can have more addresses so for example in a string email dot not email um, in a string email one equals if he the perfect at blah 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 dot com again okay so we have two of those and let's hook up that here all right so let's say we have two email addresses that we want to send to and now we do an ns array ns array will be a i'm going to call it email array so it will be like the array of people that you want to send the email to so ns array alec init with objects and our objects will be email email one and nil all right and then from there, what we, what we need to do is in a string um, message. So that's our message text. Our message text would be whatever is in our in our text view. Let me go back and see what I call it. Call it my text view. So my self, my text view, text. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting the text from my text view and I'm putting it in the in in the in a string and the message is pointing to it. And then I'm gonna say uh, mail controller. I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the message head header. Uh, where is that? Set. It's not called message header. It's called actually, here. I'll set the message body for now. Set the message body to be message. This HTML no, and I'm going to set recipient mail controller. Set it's not set recipient. What is it called? Let me see. Um, set set two recipient set two recipients and it's going to take an ns array so that's our email array so this is who we want to send to the two recipients and message body is what we want to say in our message we can also set the mail controller set um, set the subject set subject and our subject i'm just gonna hard code i'm gonna call it check check this out okay and what else oh, what else goes in an email um, I think that's pretty much all we need and then you just say self preset view controller mail controller animated yes completion no and, right. and remember how we need the to get rid of the keyboard on this one I'm just gonna kind of cheat and go with the shortcut so there's this method called touches begin it gets called when you touch the screen so here I'm gonna say um, touches begin and I'm gonna say um, my text self my text view self my text view uh, resign first responder all right. So when you touch anywhere on the screen, the keyboard's gonna go away. So that's a little shortcut that I use sometimes. And then um, let's run it uh, on our simulator and see if that works. Okay. Let's say something in our email. Um, let's say. Tiffy, the perfect tutorial is so good. 
Alright, let's uh, see, touch anywhere and the keyboard goes away. Okay. So anywhere outside the text room. And then we'll send the, we'll click the email button. Little email thing pops up here. And R2 is our, the addresses that I have on there. And oh, there you can also add CC or BCC. There's our subject and there's our um, message body. And iPhone adds this for you automatically. You can remove it or change it later. Sent from my iPhone, and when you click send, um, the thing sh should go away. But that's why we we um, need to define one more um, delicate method. So the delicate method is called um, mail compose controller did finish with result. So when you hit send button. Uh, we can say self dismiss view controller animated yes completion nil from there uh, run it one more time so this time when you hit send the the message that pops up goes away you see the perfect 1983 okay that's our new message body uh, click somewhere hit email there it pops up message body subject email you can also add people here if you have people on your list hit send it sends it and it pops you back to the screen and let me um tell you one thing on the on the simulator the email actually doesn't get sent but if you run it on your actual device um the email will be sent so and yep i think you can change your message in here too so again if you change your message in here that's that email. There we go. All right. So that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.